Well, I've just had a fascinating eight-minute interview with Arnold Ferry, who's the chief executive of Pinnacle, and we, we, we touched on some uh, pretty raw nerves there, Arnold, not least that you've done this deal where you've, you've invested heavily into data centrics, 34.9%, uh, so you haven't gone above 50%, uh, the, the, the uh, trigger to, to make an offer to minorities. Is that on the horizon? But we will say today in our presentation, and we said it in the sense that the Centrix is of a strategic long-term nature, the investment. It's not up for sale. We've had approaches. We like the investment. We want to grow it. We want to grow that part of our business. So that would lead to the next point. Surely, eventually, we would want to take it up. We don't know when. We've got a work to do. As we said, we're going to reduce our gearing. We're going to focus on the balance sheet. But when we're ready, we certainly want to take up. So that's the next, if you like, phase two. Phase yes. one, right now you've got a big debt burden, yes. uh, which was partly due to the fact that you did this investment in data centric, yes. 300 million. What are your plans for fixing that? We will raise approximately 250 million through three actions. We will sell our property portfolio and have some leaseback agreements on that. We will also have less properties, because as you go along, you find that you've got just too many of these properties floating around. We will disinvest out of one of our print management business where the capital invested in the business is just too much for the return. We're not getting out of print management. That part of the business will go into data centuries. We also have got a good print management business, but we'll get rid of some of the investment in stock. And then lastly, we're looking to integrate one of our companies. Can't say too much of it, but those three businesses will raise, well, those three actions will give us 250 million, reduce our gearing by about a quarter, and that with operational efficiencies should, um, Un unshackle us and we can then do what we need to do going forward. Many people know Pinnacle for what happened last year, the allegations that you tried to bribe South African police services. Are you comfortable that that's now been wiped off the table? We, we were 100% certain that that was not the case. We know our fellow director, Mr. Chifasi, we know the way he operates, we know his ethics, and we were surprised by it. So we believe he's behind us. But the, what the is the same motivation of the person who made the allegations? Have you got to the bottom of that? Yet? No, we, we don't know much about it, but we can say that SAPS, the same department, has, has supported us, has kept on buying from us, and has been a good friend of us over the years. So it's still a mystery to us. And the person who made the allegations still employed in the police services? No, I believe he left uh, the services last year already sometime. All right, so that puts, uh, puts that to bed, but I guess rebuilding the reputation is still going to take some time. I think it's going to take time. It's going to show, we'll have to show the market that we remain focused. We have to take our big turnover and turn it into more profit, you know, through various actions that we do. We've also now, there was another question that the market had, what's going to happen to me? There were rumors that I was going to leave. We've announced that there will be a successor. Uh, a deputy CEO will be appointed from 1st of July. Superb guy. It's not to say that I'm then out. Are you will, leaving? Yeah. No. I'm going to remain and make sure this business is as good as it was before all of these allegations. I'm proud of this business. Are you buying shares at these levels? You personally? Not at the moment. So you're just waiting to sort everything out and then the shares will be cheap enough to buy again? Let's see. Arnold Free is the Chief Executive of Datacentrics.